fines and seven years in jail for protesting is pretty crazy. G'day everyone, Jeremy Buckingham here. I'm with environmental campaigners Susie Russell and Justin Field. Hey guys, tell us what's happening today and why you've turned up. Well today there's a rally outside Parliament House defending the right to protest. And the reason that I'm here is because I think it's incredibly uh, cynical, manipulative and uh, pretty outrageous really that we have laws that are attacking people who are trying to protect our precious planet but the people who are doing all the damage are getting away spot free. What about you Justin? Well you know I've been travelling around the state for the last five, six years working with communities who are opposing coal and gas and I know this place here, Parliament makes the laws but it's these people that have the moral authority when it comes to what happens on our land and water and, and we've really got to defend that right to protest. You know what happened at Gloomoogie, Doubtful Creek and at Bentley, you know it's those people that are going to protect those things that we hold most dear in this state. It's really important that people from all walks of life have the right to be able to defend their land uh, from climate change catastrophe that's caused by coal seam gas drilling, by coal mines and the Baird government's wanting to take all of that away. I'm from Gloucester, John Watts is my name, and I have the view that these laws are draconian and appalling. Uh, it's a sign of the arrogance of this government that they're prepared to try and uh, put uh, protesters in jail when they let coal seam gas companies and mining companies get away with whatever they want to. To protest against things that the government is doing that harm you is a right, and I don't think it should be taken away from us. I'm tired of Mike Beard running roughshod over the people of New South Wales. Older people should not have to chain themselves to Parliament House to be heard. These laws are draconian laws and they should be abolished. Some Trying to destroy the people's rights to stand up against environmental fascism. And it's just not right. The whole country knows it's not right. And that's why they run these things through. Two houses in Parliament in one day. Now, what does that tell you? That tells me that the mining companies call them the shots here. The expansion of police powers, that sort of switched the, the honest of, of proof. Um, they, it reverses it, so they can search you and they can detain you without just on a suspected whim. Um, they can take your car, they can take your gear. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really intense. That's, that's a that's a hardline draconian sort of law that's coming about. Yeah. Our civil liberties, our um, rights, our assets, um, our freedoms, our local government, our forests, our food bowls. Um, there is just this onslaught of attack from this government uh, and they are out there to just either chop it up, uh, sell it off or destroy it in some way and I think it's imperative that people take a stand. To shutting down democratically elected governments right across the state, this can't continue and I think that the, the ongoing protests right throughout New South Wales will bring down the Baird government and he will be remembered as probably the worst Premier that this state has ever had and that's saying something. Yeah.